Hey, it's Kip on Gal. I wanted to show you our likes and dislikes on our snacky junk food. Some of them are good for you, some are not. But I wanted to show you for the last month or so, maybe even longer than that, that you've uh, seen me do a haul zone that we liked and what we didn't like. Alright. The, I'll start with a cream butter. The um, sweet cream butter that is salted from Aldi's. This is a good product to cook with. Um, I think I use the unsalted in my um, Let's Cook With Me with the um, peach cobbler. I don't recommend using this one, this brand, because it was way, way, way too much butter. Um, I mean, it was edible, but I did literally have to drain the butter off of it. All right. My son absolutely loves these spinach wraps. Um, they are from Aldi's. There's only one left in here. Um, they are freezable. Um, there's the front of the package. They're very, very hard to find. Let's just drop it again. Oh, there it went. Here's the stats on it. Said he really enjoyed those. They're better for you than bread, for sure. Alright, these are from Aldi's. They're the whole grain Millville fruit and grain cereal bars. They're kind of like the um, Trader Joe's just walks into a bar or the, the um, I think it's made by Kellogg's. They have a uh, bar like this, but I like this brand better. It is an Aldi brand. Also, we tried out the Krusty's Complete Pancake Mix. Um, nobody even knew it was any different non-GMO. Um, let's see where the stats are. The stats are right here on this. I did not get to try these, so I can't tell you my opinion on them. This is a focus. But um, they are really good. According to the kids, we didn't have any problems. So... Um, yeah, if you get a chance to try these out, try them out. They're really good. Let's stack these in. My son, of course, absolutely loves these. Um, zero trans fat, zero cholesterol, and no artificial flavors or colors. There's the stats on these. You have 34 crackers for 140 calories, 5 fat, 1 trans fat. No cholesterol, 190 sodium, 20 carbs, 1 fiber, 3 protein. Sorry, my phone's going off. Alright. I also enjoyed these. Um, my son likes them occasionally. Um, Trader Joe's walks into a bar, low fat. Um, I actually think that if I was going to pay the price for these... Everything's falling on me. Alright, if I was going to pay the price, I'd probably get these. I usually don't say that about Trader Joe items, but I think these are like $2.99 or something. But they are really better for you. So, let's see if I can find the stats on this. One bar, 140 calories, 2.5 fats, uh, 0.5 poly, unsaturated fat. Monosaturated fats, 1.5, 0 cholesterol, 95 sodium, 80 potassium, 28 carbs, 1 fiber, 15 sugars, Ooh. 2 grams of protein. There's what's in it. So maybe they're not as good for you. But anyhow, we like those. I'm telling you, it's not been the day. My son is liking these because he's having trouble eating. Um, this is one thing that he can eat that doesn't hurt him. So, if he can eat them, he's losing a lot of weight. If he can eat them, then that's what I'll get. Alright. Just a second here. I'm going to get my stuff dropped. Alright. Here was a free Friday download at Kroger. These Chips Away Thins original. They're empty. Um, these are really good. I like them. I think they taste just the same as any other chips of Hoi cookie. 
They're just good chocolate chip cookies. Here's another empty from Aldi's, the Clubhouse um, crackers. Um, they're two something at Walmart and they're like a dollar something at Aldi's. Here's the stats on them. I'm not saying any of this food is the best for you. I'm not saying that at all. But they do have a Aldi's has a double money back guarantee. They will replace the item as full as well as um, give you a refund if you don't like them. I really like these actually better than the clubhouse, and I'll probably continue purchasing these. Get this out of the way. Right. The uh, Trader Joe crispy crunchy chocolate chip cookies. These rock. Um, I've only had a problem with them one time. These are one pound two ounce containers. I got two of them again this last time. They um, first ones I got had mold on the bottom of them, which is odd, but um, they let me know that um, they would give me uh, either my money back or give me another one. And I looked at the others and made sure. And I asked if there was any recalls, and they said no. So, um, we did enjoy these. Here's the stats on them. So I'm holding here. And the ingredients. They are very, very good. I really, really, really enjoy them. As if you can't tell. Alright. And the fudge from the Dollar Tree. It's a no-go. There's still some in it. It is not empty, but I wanted to show it in one of my empties. I do not recommend getting this. They are really hard. They are nothing. Here's the ingredients. They are nothing like fudge at all. They don't even taste like fudge. So, I need to take these back. I bought them sometime back, and I just haven't had time. Just holding on the stats on them. So, I'm a sweet treat that week. Got to throw it at the door. And these moon pies are my favorite. This is what I have for breakfast every morning with a cup of coffee. Yes, I know I'm diabetic, but my one say has been really good. So I've been having the salted caramel moon pies. Um, they're very hard to find. They throw them for a dollar. Sometimes they have them like three for fifty cents. These were made in Chattanooga, Tennessee. If you didn't know, I didn't even know. I'm from Tennessee, and I had no idea that the moon pies were made in Chattanooga, Tennessee. So, I really, 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 really enjoy these. I started getting these about two Christmases ago, and there's only one place in our town that can continue getting them. I was getting them, I think, 99 cents a piece when they first came out, but now our um, local, one of our local stores carries them, so I'm gratefully blessed that they do, and... This is what I try to have in the morning for breakfast with a cup of coffee. And I don't have any sweetener or anything in my coffee. But anyways, that is our likes and and our dislikes and what we've went through that were either sweet or something that, that I wanted to show you that we really enjoyed. Hope everyone's having a good day. We'll see you later. Bye everyone.